No, so you've reported your students for having drugs and put them into the court system? Uh, you know what, you, you don't have to answer yeah, any of these questions. I think we're going to... Who are you? This Ridley-O is brought to you by friends of... Blockchain.info It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Are you Dr. Tobak? I am. Oh, good. Still works. Uh, question for you. Um, you were a superintendent in Hoboken currently, am, correct? Currently. Can you, as a superintendent of a New Jersey school district, which is, uh, I mean, the, the culture is very different in New Jersey. Can you adapt to the live free or die culture in New Hampshire? I believe I could. Sure. Have you ever spent any time here? Have I spent time here as like a resident? No, I do not live here as a resident. Oh, well, you don't have to. <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, uh, I guess uh, a lot of New Hampshire residents view New Jersey as something of a police state. As a part of the government uh, system in New, ha or in New Jersey, uh, have you ever uh, called the police or sucked, uh, sicked the police on one of your students over a victimless crime? No. Okay, good. That's no, all I have. Any time that I've called the police, there's, there's been reasons for it. Because he's a victim. You would never call the police just because someone had drugs, right? True. It's an illegal act. No, so you've reported your students for having drugs and put them into the court system? Uh, you know what, you, you don't have to answer yeah, any of these questions. I think we're going to have to stop by now. Thank you. Concerned um, citizen. Yeah. I think we can. Are you a New Hampshire resident? Thank you so much. No, you don't have to be. Okay. Eject button, you have hit, but land, you must. So he's sort of making my point for me. I mean, to say that uh, the excuse for turning in a student to the police is that they broke the law, that's like saying the, the unquestioning support for the law. That's exactly what I would expect from New Jersey. Are you Dr. Cotter? Yes, I am. Question. Um, you have, I think in your bio, you indicate that you have uh, gotten a lot of grants for your school district. Is, is that the right bio? Have I got you confused I, with somebody I think else? I me confused with someone else. Oh, are you the one that indicated the, an interest in the environmentalism? No. Then I can't think of anything that I actually accurately remember <laughs> from your uh, profile, and you're off scot free. There you go. Thanks so Thank much. You. I might have a think up a question for you later. I'm sure you will. <laughs> okay, take care. <clears throat> are you Dr. Gordon? Yes. Question. Make sure, tell me if I've got you confused with a different superintendent candidate. Uh -oh. But if I recall correctly, your bio indicates a strong interest in teaching environmentalism. Is that correct? Yes, that's I've got correct. the right one. Okay. Some people consider that indoctrination. Should you be bringing that here and will you? Um, well, it would depend on what the board wanted to do, but the environmental uh, concerns that uh, I deal with are cleaning up the environment. It's not actually teaching the uh, structure of it. So it's uh, recycling, doing things that make certain that the environment's clean and that kids are part of the process for that. And you are currently a superintendent in New York State, is that correct? Well, I completed my superintendency in August of this year. Okay. And I have a one-year contract to consult with the district. Okay. Uh, at, at Port of Washington, New York? Port of Washington. Okay. Now, I don't know a lot about Port of Washington, but New York itself has a reputation in, uh, in New Hampshireites think of it as sort of a police state. Um, can you adapt to the, the live free or die culture here? Well, my family's from originally, my father is from this area, and uh, we've been coming up here since 1972. And I know the area very, very well. And where we are in the part of Long Island that we're at is the North Shore, so we're right across the Sound from Connecticut. So it's a little bit different than uh, most of the rest of New York State. Okay, I've taken enough enough of your time. Uh, Thanks so about much. To start. No Thanks for your time, though. I appreciate it. You? Right, it's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. It's like oh, a poor man's TV station. To Number two YouTube channel in New Hampshire. Pleasure to meet you. All right. Thanks much. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Mark Sobeck.
until six, high school teacher. After that, um, after working there for four years, I worked as a business administrator for a year, and then went on to work at Bear. I worked my way um, to the whole world. Okay, so the lady who was trying to stop me, sort of stop me from interviewing that uh, superintendent candidate, she's handing out some kind of questionnaire, so maybe she, maybe she's local. Mr. Cutter, I do remember my question now. You do? If I understand correctly, your district has $16,000 per year per student expense. 13, is that correct? Oh, only 13000 13 to 14000 Okay, I read 16000 in the papers, and sometimes the papers are wrong. Um, I don't think I have anything to ask you then. It's not a particularly different number from what they have here. Okay. Yeah, I was going to well, ask you. Well, then have you a know. great evening. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs> you take care. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way, even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.